Deloitte recently launched the Voice of the European Workforce report, which aims to bring the voice of the workforce into the debate, examining workers' attitudes and views across Europe. The report has highlighted five key areas where workers' needs and desires should influence the strategies of companies and public institutions around the future of work. Firstly, taking advantage of longer careers. The over 50 age group is expected to represent 34% of the workforce by 2028. The challenge is that many organisations are unprepared to deal with the ageing workforce. Overlooking the pool of ageing workers is a missed opportunity, especially when you consider the following survey findings. Older workers are willing to prolong their careers. 73% of women in the UK and 50% of men expect to continue working after their current retirement age. Older workers show the highest levels of engagement. Only 18% of UK workers over 54 state that they are not stimulated by what they do and that's compared to 43% of UK workers aged 25 to 34. Older workers are more open to alternative career arrangements. 18% say they would prefer to be freelance or self-employed, compared to only 7% of UK workers aged 25 to 34. The bottom line is, people are staying in the workforce longer, so companies hungry for skills and flexibility should tap into the pool of older workers. They remain motivated, satisfied and open to alternative employment arrangements. The second major finding highlighted in the report is the importance of engaging and motivating a broader workforce. Creating a compelling employee advantage is vital, but employers need to recognise the values and needs of employees vary among age groups and employment groups. The challenge? In the survey, compensation was an important factor, but it was only ranked seventh of the factors that motivate employees at work. So what does? And how can organisations best manage the varying priorities of its ever diverse workforce? The top five motivating factors for UK workers from the survey are number one, job security. Number two, being trusted by colleagues, co-workers, clients and supervisors. Three, competent leadership. Four, clear definition of responsibilities. And five, seeing the broader purpose in what I do at work. The bottom line again is that motivating factors vary among people of different ages and employment status. Managing a workforce with different views and preferences and offering them a customised employee experience is hugely important. The third key finding was the impact of alternative career models. There's a widespread consensus among HR leaders that in their companies the use of alternative talent sources will increase over the next few years. Despite this, full-time employment is still the preferred working arrangement, scoring 61% in the UK and across Europe, and higher in the UK with age categories 25 to 34, which was at 72%, and 35 to 44, which was at 74%. So the bottom line again is, Although salaried work, either full or part-time, remains the most attractive form of employment, there is increasing interest in less traditional working arrangements, especially among older respondents. The fourth key factor was promoting lifelong learning, which is extremely significant. As a person's working life expands, the skills they learned in their 20s will not keep them employable over decades. No matter how high in demand their skills are now, technology progress will outpace them. The challenge is, to be able to align with evolving job requirements over a long time frame, people need to keep learning through their entire life. UK employers must offer more support to strengthen their workers' skills and communicate the value their roles are bringing to their company. 45% of UK workers state that their employer requires them to upskill compared to 33% of workers across Europe. 48% of UK workers believe that the primary responsibility for identifying workplace skills needed should be with the employer. Only 24% believe that this is an individual's responsibility. It's interesting that they do not recognise the need to take ownership yet of their own development. The bottom line? The expectation that employers should be responsible for upskilling their employees and employees feeling that their employers expect it 
shows that employers need to be at the forefront of providing guidance about which skills to develop and motivating employees towards lifelong learning. The fifth and final key finding from the report is a wake-up call about technological change. Businesses need to educate workers on how their roles will be augmented by technology as awareness will provoke reaction. In the UK, 83% do not expect any major change to their job over the next decade and only 14% of UK workers believe that over the next 10 years their job will require a different set of skills. The bottom line, many people have not yet experienced abrupt technology disruption in their workplace and do not foresee major change or fast changes in their jobs. This unaware demographic are more likely to pass up opportunities to train and reskill.